Look, yeah. Oh. I don't think. Okay, maybe this was a bad idea because there shouldn't be long. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Duchess C and today I'm sewing a wig from Elfin Hair, okay? The wig came with a brush, a comb, and it came with some wig caps as well. So if you want to see me install this wig for beginners, then stay tuned and enjoy my tutorial. Hey, so this tutorial is definitely for beginners because I'm a beginner myself. So if you're on some expertise, just click out of this because this is not for you. Here's the hair. I really did forget what length this is. 18 or 20 maybe. I don't know. But the hair is real soft. Lace is nice. I'm going to pluck it. I'm going to attempt to pluck it. Yeah, I'm going to show you the before and after I pluck it. If I can. Here's before. And here is after. Girl, ain't no difference. Um. Difference, but I, 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 I don't know. But if you want to learn how to pluck a wig, this is not the tutorial for this. I got my wig cap on, and I think it might be a little bit too light for me. But I'm gonna try putting some makeup on it because the beauty supply store did not have my color. They're like this. Yeah, I be seeing people go like this or whatever. Hold on, cut my eyes out. I'm off in the camera because this is my this is my mirror right now. I don't know how people cut the holes in their eyes, but I'm telling you in advance, don't do it like this. Just don't. Don't do it. Oh. This should be fine. Now, if you look straight into the camera, there's a dumbass trying to cut her eyes open while the freaking wig cap is breaking. It's ripping, bro. It's literally ripping. Look, yeah. Oh! It's twin now! Ah! I don't think. Okay, maybe this was a bad idea because there shouldn't be long. I'm gonna try again, but I'm just not gonna cut my whole, my eyes because I don't want my thing to break. So, yeah. You got to, you got to be sprayed probably a little dirty right now. And then make sure you have a blow dryer. And then you gotta, damn, I can't see. You have to follow your hairline and just spray it. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hope you're enjoying the video. But I have to say something. Before you got to be spray it, I recommend you put the makeup on your wig cap first. Like, I'm gonna try to insert a picture. I do it like that, because I think that'll be easier in the long run. Okay, enjoy the video. <laughs> Make sure your blow dryer is on cool. Y'all finna see in a second how messy this gets. But I'm telling y'all, y'all can still do it. Even though it's messy, like, it'll still work. But, like, this is actually very embarrassing. Like, I can't even lie. Like, who the... Why is it so messy, bro? What? So, I'm not done yet. But, like, you have to wait till it gets, like, hard. You gotta keep blowing drying until it gets hard. But I forgot to cut my ears out. So, I'm gonna do that right now. I feel like this is the part where it don't have to be perfect, like, whatsoever. As long as you get your ear out and your ear wax out, too. Because I know y'all got the earwax in your ear so now i'm gonna go over it with more spray and then keep blow drying for some more minutes this process will probably take you a long time like it's a long time bro so be patient okay so now it should be dry and no longer sticky so i'm gonna cut so i can like see what's going on in the world now because this is very uncomfortable So now I'm gonna take this little shaving ring thing or cutting, yeah, little shaver thing and cut the wig cap. So a little mistake that I learned is when you are got to be spraying it down, like don't do it so close to like your forehead, like close to your eyes because you have to take it off and that shit will freaking hurt. Like this hurts. It feel like I got sunburn right now. I don't know how that feels, but I can imagine it hurts. So just don't get so close to where the wig is not going. Okay, just please do that. Please. 
this part is very essential that you be careful with the tool because you might hurt yourself okay like like look at this like i'm bleeding i am bleeding so just be careful because it's sharp you know but anyways like now i'm cleaning it up with this uh what's it called like oil no it's not called oil it's called like uh what's it called when <gasps> what is it <clears throat> Alcohol, babes. It's called alcohol. Yep. Oh, I'm Hannah Montana. <laughs> this is what I'm. This is what I'm looking now. Like, this is what I'm looking like now. I do not do my makeup every day, but every day I don't do my makeup always is the day that the paparazzi comes and finds me. So now I'm getting better at doing it every day. What lace? What lace? Nah, but I'm gonna put some makeup on it. See what it looks like. I hope this works, cause I don't know if this is my color. Nothing came off, okay. I think it's helping just because it's closer to my skin color, I guess. Like I said before, I recommend putting on this makeup before you do anything with the lace because if you can see the beginning, the front of it is like lighter than the back of it and I don't, I don't, I don't like that. I think I've seen people put it on the lace. This step, I think, really helps. Like, it's really helpful because it makes your scalp look like it's actually your scalp. And I'm glad <laughs> I actually did this part. <laughs> it's funny, bitch. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So we had a little mishap, but that's 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 okay. That is all. That is all right. We had a little situation occur, but it's okay because ain't nobody gonna see you. You wearing a wig anyway. No one's gonna fucking care. Anyway, I got this ghost bond glue. If you want your wig to stay on for some days, like I really recommend this Ghost Bond glue. Like it helps your stuff stay on for real, for real. Yeah. And before you put the lace on over the glue, make sure the glue is no longer white. Make sure it's clear. I don't know why I'm putting it on right now. Like I know better, but like make sure it's clear. Come on, scalp. Come on. Yes, but now I'm just cutting the lace or whatever, cutting it. Um, I should have done that before, honestly. But yeah, using my same shaver that cut me before, just to cut the lace off and make it more precise. You know the vibe. So be very careful with this um part, cause it can really go south. Like no kizzy. And now I'm gluing this piece down because I guess it didn't glue down in the first place. But now I'm doing the other side, still being careful and doing the same exact thing, basically. So, yeah. And now I'm taking that alcohol, not the oil, the alcohol, and just wiping it down. This hair is not trying to go behind my ear, bruh. So now I'm just setting up my baby hairs or whatever. I'm bringing out like the front pieces of my hair or whatever to eventually cut in a couple of minutes. So I ain't trying to get too much, you know? So now I'm doing, what the, f bro? My look what's on my arm, bro, like that. I thought that was a bug, but it's the lace. Let's see how long it takes me to notice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, doing the same thing or whatever. And then eventually I'm gonna comb it down and then I'm gonna wrap it. I think your wrap should be like, a thinner than this but whatever you know and i tied it up for about i want to say maybe 10 minutes shoot i really don't know i was watching tv but i don't really see a difference but it's whatever i'm gonna keep combing it down and then combing it back combing it forward you know all that rah rah and i'm gonna cut it oh i can't speak i'm gonna cut it oh we skipping steps okay and now i'm gonna hot comb oh why are we going so fast okay hot combing my hair or whatever Come on, slick back. Come on, slick back. Brushing the hair now with the brush I got from Elfin Hair. Check them out. And yeah, now I'm gonna do a little cute hairstyle that I'm obsessed with. And when I tell you I cannot part hair to save my life, this hair parting took probably like 15 minutes. No cap. No kizzy, okay? But yeah, honestly, just don't try to part it too far back because then you're gonna see your uh tracks or whatever and you see why i put makeup on there i feel like if i put more makeup the lace would have matched my skin color more but that's okay so yeah this took me a minute bro just keep parting it you should get there eventually you know 
See, look, I'm getting closer. We love to see it, the progress. It's, it was a struggle. I'm not going to cap. See, I got it. Looking like Selena. And now I'm doing this little half up, half down hairstyle. We all know how to put our hair in a ponytail. So just do that. Do that real quick. Yeah, I had two strands up front before, but then I don't know what happened to them. Truthfully. Truthfully. So I tried to do this little bun or whatever, as you see. But Lord knows that bitch was thin. Looking like a goofball. Okay, no, 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 no. So I decided to tease the hair with my comb also from Elephant Hair. I'm not sure if I was supposed to do this really, if it's bad for the hair, but it made a cute ass bun. So we went with it. Cause I wanted it to be like kind of thicker or whatever. So I just teased it. And then like I twisted it and wrapped it around. As you see, it's a cute little bun. Like it's like more volume and it's thicker. Thick. Yeah, so now I brushed my hair out or whatever. And then I kind of cut down my edges some more because it was kind of long, a little too long. And yeah, I did my edges. I suck at edges. So if you want an edge tutorial, this is not it. I just do with what I can. And it's, it gets the job done at the end of the day, but I ain't all that. So, I mean, it looked better when I did it the next day, but this day it was kind of rough. So just don't even, ah, babes, don't even. Mm -mm. So yeah. I kept cutting because I felt like it was long still. So if you think it's long, just keep cutting it. Don't cut it too much because then there's no going back. There is no going back. So yeah. I took my heat protectant and the brush and then I decided to flat iron the hair because it was looking like, you know, a little frizzy. But I think I could have flat ironed it some more, but I just didn't because I had stuff to do that night. So I didn't do it. Yeah, I just did the process on both sides. Okay guys, here's the finishing look. I'm gonna go do my makeup and then come back with the official finishing look. Thank you for tuning in. I hope y'all enjoyed that little tutorial. The hair is really nice. I like it, it's soft. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Comment any other videos you'd like to see. And all of my social medias will be in the description down below. You guys have a great one. Bye. Bye.